Hey everyone, I'm here with little Lucy Pie. She's a six month old French Bulldog. Um, and I'm gonna be introducing her to the Prime Collar today. She's wearing a 2.25 millimeter Herm Stringer and it's fitted to her neck already. So I'm gonna, just gonna switch the leash to the Prime Collar. So what I'm basically gonna be doing is teaching her the language of pressure and release. So teaching her that instead of pulling away, whenever she feels that pressure, she should come towards me. She has a tendency to pull a little bit as well as when she doesn't wanna move, she just puts on her brakes and acts kind of stubborn and says, I'm not moving anymore. So this is gonna be <coughs> a good way of communicating with her that she has to move, she has to follow, and she has to follow the body and the leash. So it's gonna be very basic and I'm just gonna walk you through it as we go. I'm gonna let her go out and then apply pressure. Yes, good girl. So as soon as she turned towards the pressure, I release all the pressure, mark with yes. Yes, good girl. And it's a very, very subtle pressure. Nothing crazy, no yanking. So she's starting to learn that when she goes towards the source of the pressure, it goes away. And now she's starting to follow me and the leash a bit more without any pressure, which is ultimately what we want, because she's learning that when I turn, pressure goes on, so she should start to be more aware of where my body's going. So it's kind of like a dance. Dog goes out, pressure goes on, the dog turns around, pressure gets released, and what you start to have is a dog that's a lot more in tune with you and where you're going. Yes. So now that she's showing that she's starting to understand it, we can start to shape it into a walk more. And that's very simple by just starting to have her on one side and I'm just every time I turn so I'm moving when I move she should be moving with me if she doesn't the pressure goes on and then when she starts to move with me the pressure goes away when I say pressure, I mean simply tightening up on the leash a little bit so she feels the prong collar sensation on her neck. So now we're starting to shape it into a walk because she was nice and smooth and picking up on it easily. So now we're going to do a couple of things. I'm going to walk straight into one direction and then make a quick turn. When I make that quick turn, she should turn with me. If she doesn't, it's going to be quick pressure and release to let her know that the direction my body's going matters. So as soon as I turn, pressure goes on if she's not right there with me. Okay, turn. And at this point, it's not corrections. You want to think of it more as communicating with your dog via the leash, where they should and shouldn't be, which direction they should be going in, rather than 
correction for anything because we're just using it to teach right now. So now she's showing she really understands the pressure. She gets the basic idea that when the pressure is on, she should to go towards it. So what we're gonna do, this is gonna be part one. Part two is gonna be actually outside and showing her on her first walk with the prong collar and how that carries over to the real world and what it looks like. So stay tuned for part two when we take it outside to the real world. Just as a little recap, conditioning your dog to a prong collar is basic steps. Fitting it to your dog's neck, having it once it's on your dog's neck, obviously attach it to the leash, and then allowing your dog to go out to the end, applying slight pressure just like that. When the dog goes towards it, you release the pressure, and they start to learn that by going towards the source of the pressure, going towards the direction of the pressure, they can shut off the pressure, and then you're gonna be able to use that to carry over as a way of communicating with your dog as pressure and release as a language, as opposed to pulling your dog and them trying to pull away from you, which is the natural instinct. So stay tuned for part two when we take the prime collar outside for the real walk.